first and foremost I'd like to give all praises and all glory to the Heavenly Father Yahweh Bashem Yahushai Bashem Kakodash The one who see apostles and the elders are doing with a great millstone Peace and salutation to the Akim all the pushing his gospel and sincerity and truth Say Shalom to your mother and sincere sisters out there as well This lesson will be entitled He Had Known My Name the Lord's name is a strong tower, the Lord's name The Lord's name is a refuge for the righteous The, Lord, the, Lord's, the Lord's name, Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, that, that is literally That literally sums up everything You know, that, 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 that Those names are our salvation, those names our identity, those those names, our purpose, those names, our story, the name Yahweh, and the name Yahweh Shai, is our reason for existing. Every breath that we breathe in, you understand? Eh? Every 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 beat of our heart is for those names. Right? We we live for Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You understand? Eh? The spirit within us, the true, the true us, serve Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. You understand? And those names will deliver us in the latter end. In the book of Psalms 91, verse 14, it says, Because he had set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he hath known my name. Alright? So the Lord, because we set our love upon the Lord, Right? <clears throat> because we've set our love, our heart, our soul, our might upon the Lord. The Lord say what? He will deliver him. He will deliver us. He will set us on high. The scriptures say he that overcometh it, he will give him what? Ruler, rulership over the nations and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. Right? Why? Because he had known, they have known my name. Right? A lot of these Israelite camps like to think the name not important, but I mean, it clear as day here that he had known my name. Eh? When the Lord sent Moses to deliver the Israelites from Egypt out of the hands of Pharaoh, mm -hmm. and Moses said, Ask him, when the people shall say, You know, who had sent you? What the Lord tell Moses to tell them? Tell them that Yahweh had sent me. Right? Yahweh, the power of your fathers, the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right? Yahweh had sent thee. Right? So he came in the name of whom? Yahweh. Right? We come in the name of whom? Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Because in Yahweh Shai, we have access to the Father. Because in Yahweh Shai, uh, our sins forgiven. In Yahweh Shai, we have redemption because of the ultimate sacrifice that was made for the remission of our sins. So we come in the name of Yahweh and in the name of his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, our savior. Right? <laughs> but these these other camps, they come in the name of what? Jesus. They come in the name of Lord God. They come in the name of Christ. The Lord ain't, ain't dealing with that 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 that, that half ass doctrine. In the book of Acts chapter 4, verse 12, it says, Neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. Right? Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. So there is no other name. Allah, Jehovah, Jesus, Selassie, Yeshua, Yahuwah, Yahweh, Ahaya. Yahushua, right? God, Lord, Christ, Brahman, Vishnu, and, 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 and Shiva, Buddha, right? No, no Zeus, no, no Greek gods, no, no Roman gods, no Egyptian gods, no um, Norse gods, right? There's only one name given among men and that name is Yahweh Shai right that name is Yahweh Shai because by knowing that name and by following after that man 
you are following after the heavenly father ultimately because that's where Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai is the image of his father Yahweh Shai lived his life serving his father so if you following after Yahweh Shai and trying to be like Yahweh Shai then you trying to serve the Lord too you understand In the book of Malachi, chapter 4, verse 2, it says, Our Satan one it says, For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud ye, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble, and the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith Yahweh of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. But unto you that fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness arise, with healing in his wings, and ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall. Right? It said, the, Unto you that fear the Lord's name, the Son of Righteousness, right? That light of righteousness will arise with healing in his wings. You understand? So, who, who gonna receive the new bodies, right? Who gonna be healed of their infirmities? Who are going to be healed of the physical, the mental, spiritual, emotional distress. Hey, those that fear and believe in the name of the Lord. You understand? Yahweh Shai will come back with healing. And he shall heal each and every single one of them. To perfect health. You understand? And a, and, and a perfect sound mind. You understand? But, but to those that, that don't fear the name of the Lord. I don't care to know the name of the Lord. Anything gonna come to them? Nothing but what what is said in the first verse. You understand? The day, the day shall come to them, and that day shall burn them up. You understand? The book of Proverbs, chapter eighteen, verse ten. The name of the Lord is a strong tower; the righteous run it into it. And it's safe. You understand? The name of the Lord, right? The name Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is a strong tower, a strong refuge. The righteous run it into it and it's safe, it's preserved, it's delivered. You understand? That, that is literally what this is. Because to have this truth is to have the name of the Lord and the name of His Son. Right? To, 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 to believe in any other name, hey, you, you, you're going off, you're off. You understand? Because the, hey, the names of the Lord is a gift given to the elect. To call upon the Heavenly Father is a gift in itself. Right? It's one thing to know Yeshua is Israelite. It's one thing to know the laws, statutes, and commandments, and all, you know, to know the breakdowns of the cases, but to know the names of the Lord, hey, that is. That is by the foundation you understand that is the foundation Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is the key you know is the is, 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 is the decking is the foundation is the, the base of this house you understand because in the last days you could know how much breakdowns you could know how much scriptures who you're gonna call upon what you're gonna say you understand well, what you're gonna say well, what word what name are you going to utter in your times of trouble who you're gonna call upon you're gonna call upon jesus most high and christ bless you know you're gonna call upon a higher you're gonna call upon lord god or are you going to call upon yahweh bashem yahweh shai you understand In the book of Exodus chapter 20 verse 7 and say thou shalt not take the name of Yahweh thy power in vain for Yahweh will not hold him guiltless that take it his name in vain and that is what these Christians that is what these Israelite Christians doing they take any the name of the Lord in vain because they think it do even matter you understand they merely bound to call upon the name of the Lord you know is wherever but they that they, they, they ridicule in the Lord's name. Right? They ridicule in the name Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. 
they thinking it have no power in calling upon those names that you know seeing you have one saying God ain't no difference eh? that's a sin right all this all the proclaiming that garbage is a sin all the refusing to teach people the true names of the Lord right and making it seem as if the Lord's name don't matter you understand as if by saying those names you know it did it, it and I it had a video with them mocking the names you understand and they would rather call upon Lord God and call upon Jesus than call upon Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. The scriptures say what? He will not hold him guiltless that take his name in vain, so he dies a sin. In the Son and this lesson, hope it was, hope it was edifying, giving all praises and glory to Yahweh Shai, 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 Yahweh